mom of seven, and I'm 33. Okay. With being a mom of seven, do you think that a woman of um, multiple children is still capable of finding someone? First, let me ask you before I make the statement. Do the kids have the same father? Yes, they do. Okay, well, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Okay. So this is a little, hold on. We're talking about seven children, okay? This is no offense to you because there's, there's, it's absolutely possible for you to find a quality man. What makes it a tad bit difficult is that you have to find a man who has the financial footing to take care of you and seven children. And then you also have to be able to find a man who is going to be willing to come in and create structure in that household. Seven children on one person is a lot to create structure in. So there's a lot that this man is gonna to have to come in and do. On top of that, creating a secure space for you. When you have to be a mother and you have to take care of most of the majority of the things that happen in a house, are you going to have the ability to be able to love this man in a way that he needs to be loved in a way that registers as love to him when you have to love seven other individuals? You're going to need a man who can love those children as his own. Yep. That is a huge responsibility to put on a person who does not have those children. Those are not his kids. But I, if I were you, no disrespect, I'll try to work it out with the, with the father. No, no, here Didn't I say send it back? Okay, oh. I agree with the latter, okay? Before I get into the beginning, I agree with the latter part of this conversation. What's interesting to me is the strong no to working it out with the children's father. Again, this is a clip. I don't know if there's a longer conversation. There's a longer part. The woman had more to say. But from what I see in this clip, you know, I definitely agree with what the woman said at the end of that conversation in which you should stay with your children's father. This is a problem that I see, okay? And now, I just want everybody to know, all the women that's going to come over here and be all up in their emotions and in their feelings and trying to defend single motherhood and trying to, you know, add things to the conversation that I did not say, I'm having this conversation not emotionally. I'm having this conversation out of logic, okay? Pure logic, if you want to think about this logically, whether this woman had seven children with a lot of men, which we already know the better, the best bet is that you had seven children with one man or not. The whole point of the matter is that you have seven children. Not one little baby that you could throw on your back or hold on your hip and, you know, that that may be a, a child that has a certain you know certain demeanor certain mannerisms that is very polite and and um is is accepting of this new man coming into the picture but i think that a lot of people forget that it is not just about the man adjusting to the children it's about how well the children will adjust to the man and that is a lot of the times where most of the problems come into the picture because if you have seven children with one man, that means that these children possibly, I would assume, have a very strong bond with their father. Children have their own emotions. Their mindset is going to be that no man will ever be good enough because it's not their father. They are used to only being under the regime of you and again, their father. The problem will come in when this man is now the outsider to such a large family dynamic. It's not like one son that, you know, y'all take turns and the kids go over there for the weekend or whatever the case is. And sometimes your child lists because your child is with their parents or with their grandparents or whoever. Seven kids is a, is a lot of lugging around. I'm going to be honest with you, that's a lot. Two is a lot. Seven is, and inflation is high, <laughs> okay? So that's a lot of children. On Being realistic, men having children and women having children is a very different thing. If a man has seven children, even if it's by one woman or by multiple women, that doesn't necessarily stop or deter women from being with that man. 
or even being the baby mama that have child number eight. But with women, it is a different dynamic because of the emotional investment with your children. You know, mommy is the, is most of the time, you know, mommy is the nurturer, the carer, the lover, the, you know, she can fix it. She can help me. I need her. She, I'm so used to being around her. A man being the leader of the household, when he has children, they're his responsibility and his financial burden. Hence why women can step into the picture and just assist. But he is the end all be all. He's a structure. He's the one that's telling them what to do. He's a disciplinarian. You don't have to do all of that. You just got to be there and assist your man. When the tables are turned, it is now putting this man in a space that he can be at odd with your children's father. Because in a household that this man is going to be providing for you and now for your seven children. He is not the the end all be all. He is not the last point of authority. What he says does not ultimately go. Because there's another man involved that these seven children have known and who were who who they came from. It's very easy for that. You're not my dad conversation. It's very easy for I don't got to listen to you. No way. It creates a space that that man can easily feel inferior, easily feel left out of the picture, easily become annoyed, easily get irritated by the conversation because a lot of people don't talk about that stuff. The conversation, oh, mommy, remember when you and daddy did this? It's not one kid doing it. It's seven. <laughs> like That's a lot. That is a lot of children. Another thing that I have to say is that, to be honest, seven children and when it comes to monitoring and watching and providing for all of their emotional needs, it is very difficult to even do that effectively, even if it's two parents in a household with all your children together. Somebody else going to feel left out. Somebody always going to feel a certain way because there's a lot. There's only two of you and you have to have your eyes literally everywhere to fulfill every need. Not saying that everybody have to be perfect. Not saying that, you know, trying is not good enough, but just the truth about it. Again, the logic. It's very difficult for you to, as a, as a woman, to not spread yourself thin with just your kids. We're not talking about cooking. We're not talking about grocery shopping. We're not talking about laundry. We're not talking about homework. We're talking about just their emotional needs. Then let's add all these other things into it. That's a lot. The next difficult thing, and I have to be honest, is that now that you are a single mother with all these children, it's a scary place to be. I don't know how old the oldest would be. I'm not sure. But it's a scary place to be. And a lot of these women who are parading around and, again, uh, telling pe women not to fix it. They could do it by themselves. There's another man who's going to be the cleanup man. He's going to fix everything. And he's going to get you together. And he's going to love your kids as his own. And he's going to do this. A lot of these women who are selling the same story to all these women, again, perpetuating the baby mama culture. They don't talk about the downsides. One of the downsides being, you got to watch who you have around your children, babysitting your children. And that, that is not just intimate partners, that is your homegirls. How many times have we heard horror stories from male celebrities who their mama friend was babysitting them and introducing them to a lot of things at a very young age? I'm not trying to make people live in fear, but I'm just opening the eyes to the reality of it. There are people who want you for your kids. There are people who want to befriend you for your kids.
you know, it, it gets me. What gets me is with the really strong no about this conversation is that if the relationship was shaky from child number one, if it was shaky from child number two, and it was shaky with child number three, how do we get to seven? In my mind, from my interpretation of the situation, in my a humble opinion, just my opinion, I'm not telling nobody what to do. I don't know the intricate de details, but from this clip, in my opinion, whatever oomph you had to get to seven should be the same oomph that you get to stay and, and keep that relationship solid and together and make it work. Because in thinking that there's going to be somebody who's going to love all of these children like they created them, I think that we have to be honest and say that that might be, that might be a stretch. Unless he got seven kids too and y'all about to be the Brady Bunch. It's a little delusional. And I don't want to say this and it come off the wrong way, but... If a man is, is willing to enter into a relationship with a woman who has seven kids. Why? I'm <laughs> just, just like, why? You might not ever have that comfort or that fulfillment in feeling like it's going to be, you know, the best outcome or just feeling completely comfortable with this person. And, and even some women, you know, they step out of these relationships with these men and they think that they're ready to go find love and, and be in this space where, you know, mama need love too. And then when he start talking to your kids a certain way, then you jump in the mix. So now his daddy against him and you against him. Now the relationship is, is falling apart because now you mad that he raising his voice. Now you mad that he's providing structure for your kids. Cause most women all say they got the best kids. Oh, yeah, he's a good kid. He don't he don't bring no problems. He this, he that. Even if a little Timmy is mad disrespectful. <laughs> like, y'all be acting like he the best kid in the world. There's a lot of hoops that somebody has to jump through. You know, one kid is one situation. Seven or multiple, five multiple kids. I got to be honest with you. That's a lot. That's a lot. You know, I, I know back in the day they used to, you know, a lot of mothers used to do when the relationship didn't work out. They will wait till their, their children were grown. They will have a friend. <laughs> okay. They would just have a friend. And also, you know, just my opinion, people who are in this situation or whatever the case is, just my opinion. Okay. This is just my observation. Again, I don't know all the intricate details. I don't know anything about the story based off of anything else other than what we saw. But, you know, in my humble opinion, I would suggest if, if it can't work out with your children's father, I don't see why y'all have seven kids. I think y'all can make y'all done made a lot of things work. I think y'all could possibly make it work. But my my opinion would be not to introduce anybody to your children. And just keep your relationship at bay. Somebody who's cool with when they are at their dad's house or, you know, certain day dates, uh, weekend, whatever the case is, and, and keeping like that for a very long time. Because what a lot of women don't know is that if you keep bringing around these people, your kids start looking at you crazy. And then it's also opening up opening them up to toxic behaviors that maybe they didn't even see or that's even worse than whatever the dynamic was with their father. I don't know. I think that a lot of people um, have to understand that when you have such a, fa a big fa family dynamic, it's not always going to be perfect. It's not always going to be easy. But to go to the stretch that you have seven, it's not even like maybe, you know, the man had a couple kids and then you had two kids with him and then you guys come into the, to the agreement. And now you're, when you guys break up, you only have your two kids. Like this is all you guys as children. I think that the family picture should be thought about before just personal needs at some point. Again, this is not, you know, a family breaking up that's going to affect one or two kids. This is seven 
kids. This is my opinion. Okay, this is my opinion. And again, I have to say that I think that this is not about emotions, not about feelings. I don't know this woman personally. I don't know the backstory. I don't know why it did not work. This is just my opinion. Based off of what we all saw in this video. And I think that, you know, I love that this woman was very realistic with her about the reality of the situation that she needs to just make it work with her ex. That's the real truth, because. If a, a, a man that's going to be with you and in carrying the burden and the emotional burden of eight people, what does he deserve in return? What is he getting in, in return? What is the benefits for him? Besides have to share, having to share all of his resources with you and your children. Last tidbit, this is why I think it's very important. Women are in control of who is born into the world. And I think that if you are having, this is just, again, my opinion, if you're having rocky situation or rocky relationships, maybe you need to go on birth control. Or maybe you need to use other contraceptive methods because a child is not going to fix a toxic situation. So it's probably just going to, to cover it for a little bit because you have something to be excited for and then it's going to make it worse. Because now the stress that you had before plus this, the added stress of having a newborn and this and that, it's just going to keep repeating the same cycle. Another thing is that as a woman, because you are in control of who's being born into the world, I don't think it's a wrong thought to have the mentality of how things are going to be in, in the dynamic of your life if it would not work out. Again, my opinion. This is why we always talk about marry before you carry, but also that doesn't stop people from getting a divorce. We can talk about this all day, okay? Because there's so many little divots and avenues that we can, you know, expand on this conversation. But I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.